Hello everyone, my name is Nadia and this is my channel Oops Nadine. And today we will discuss with you bench eating, my own story, the ways how you can manage it and what is it. So, first of all, bench eating isn't just a person who ate a lot. This is a disorder. And I should tell you that I am not a doctor. I am just a girl who also have this problem. And that's why I just want to share with you my own experience. Bench eating is such situation when you just can't stop eating. It has two main features. First of all, the amount of what you eat is really excessive. Sometimes it could be 15,000 or 20,000 of calories in a time. And second, there is a sense of control during this process. So when I personally have such period, I just can't stop eating. I open my fridge like uh, 10 times and one hour usually i try to find something tasty it helps me to calm down and feel more comfortable inside and most of the time i do it at home after a bit or a lot of stress this helped me to relax and return inside myself and what about you if you feel that sometimes you just can't stop eating maybe you also have such a problem and now I want to share my story with you. When I was a little kid, I was quite chubby. And some people told me that I look like sex bomb. That was boys, of course. But I was little, I don't care a lot about it. And when I grew up, I ate whatever I want. My parents was quite poor and they tried to buy all the food they can afford. So we can eat really a lot of amount of food. When I was 13, I felt in love with a boy and I want to look gorgeous and decided to sit on my first diet. I wasn't too fat, but I want to be really super slim to look the best I can. And I think from that moment I began to gain and lose weight all the time. I just was sitting on diet when I was over it, sitting on diet, over it and again and again. I read almost all the books about diets. I took all the courses I can uh, only afford which helps to lose weight. So I knew about it, I think almost everything. And how many diets did you try in your life? Are you the same as me, someone who tried all the types of diets? Almost 20 years last this war, I was gaining weight, losing weight, and then I came to my fourth psychologist and asked her to help me to lose weight. But when she heard my story, she told me that no, you don't need to lose weight, you need to lose the system when you're gaining weight and losing it, and again and again. I even can't imagine that I could live in the paradigm where I don't need to lose weight. And in a year I understand that this psychologist was true and I can't be happy if I always chasing some ideal weight and I overeat sometimes. It doesn't work like this. And from that moment I begin to find professional books about bench eating and I understand how it works and what can I do myself to manage it. And from that moment, I'm still in my process. Sometimes I can again return to bench eating, especially when I have a lot of stress and it happens, but I know what to do. I feel myself more confident and more happy and I wish you to have the same. That's why I will tell you the ways how you can manage this problem yourself. Of course, best of all, if you can find psychologists in food disorders who can help you in this way. But if not, you can begin with these easy steps. First, write your reason why you need it. What will happen if you stop this disorder? How this will improve your life? Second, write your story about it or tell someone like I told it today to you. How did it begin? How many years have you spent binge eating? Give yourself four to six months to manage this problem. Sometimes it wouldn't work and it's okay. You just need to continue doing it. You need a paper, you can print out the list which I show you. I will stay in the link below how you can download it. You should feel every piece you eat, every. 
even super small because sometimes we didn't understand how much we eat when we eat just a small pieces of a lot of things and then once a week you should ask yourself have i been monitoring can i improve it and how and then you need to analyze the reasons of your problems what was the trigger maybe it's the place where you eat. maybe it was your feeling situation and how can you avoid it in the future i also advise you to read this book it's really very cool it helps me a lot and one of the most important common advice try not to leave more than four hours between your meals thank you for watching this video i hope you like it please stay the like in the description below if you have something to tell me about your story and want to share it i will be happy to read it and to answer it and to share my experience please subscribe to my channel i will continue to tell you about my story and how i manage this problem and others i'll tell a lot about jewelry and clothes and how to love yourself. See you!